I'm here today to share with you that underneath our noses, and without us even noticing, a revolution is taking shape. The revolution of online fashion. It is a fascinating story about the transformation of an entire industry. But the most interesting part about this story is the fact that this revolution impacts each and every one of us here, even if we are not aware of it, because it is about to completely change some of the basic elements in our daily lives, from what we wear to where and how we are going to buy it. But before we start, I would just like to ask you a very quick question, if I may. How many of you buy stuff online? Just anything. Please raise your hands if you do. Thank you. I can't see anything with the light, but okay. Wow, thank you. That's quite impressive. Thank you. Now, if you had to imagine what happens behind the scenes when you purchase something online, what would it be? Most of us imagine our order being sent away to a remote warehouse somewhere where goods are being pulled off shelves, placed in boxes, and sent away. And this may absolutely be true in most cases. But when it comes to fashion, more often than you think, this simply isn't the case anymore. Because in fashion these days, filling warehouses with stock will make you go out of business. And quite fast. For the, for the very simple reason that your stock will go out of fashion way before you get to sell it. But why? What makes fashion any different than other stuff we buy? Fashion plays a very unique role in our lives, even if we don't consider ourselves especially fashionable. Just dare to imagine how it would feel like if both people sitting next to you right now were wearing exactly the same clothes as you. You'd feel very uncomfortable, wouldn't you? The reason for that is that the clothes we wear are an essential part of who we are, of our self-expression, and of the image we would like to project, both to ourselves and to others. I actually consider text-printed t-shirts to be some of the more self-expressive objects that I own. So, <laughs> fashion... <laughs> yes. So, fashion does play according to a different set of rules. And today, I would like to explore with you the revolutionary impact of the online world on fashion. In the year 2015, clothing became the number one online sales category for the first time in history, overtaking computer hardware. And in the US, about 20% of overall fashion sales today take place online. Now, if you think about it, this is a pretty amazing fact, because when we purchase clothes online, we can't really see the color or the print, we can't touch the fabric, and of course, there are no fitting rooms. And yet, online fashion sales are booming like never before. Only twice in history, we've seen a similar shift to online of such a scale. First, when Amazon took on bookstores in the mid-1990s, and second, when Apple did the same for music stores just about a decade later. In both cases, what started as a pure business model ended up becoming genuine revolutions that completely changed our habits as consumers and transformed entire industries. Just take a look at the music industry before and after the iTunes store, and you will understand exactly what I'm talking about. And this means that the growing trend of buying fashion online has reached the proportions where it is about to completely change the way we shop for clothes, but even more significantly, where and how fashion is going to be manufactured. So, what is really going on here? Where is all this coming from? Not surprisingly, the reason lies in the evolution of our online behavior patterns. And to be more precise, I recognize three major consumer trends that are changing the basic rules of the game for the fashion industry. The first trend is the need for personal expression. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying this is a new thing, of course not, but the online domain has given it a whole new form and volume. 
Just think about the role of selfies in the way we post and broadcast ourselves these days. And in fashion, this means that we all want to be on trend, but unique and special at the same time. Creating the concept of customized fashion. The second trend is influenced through social media. Now, social media has completely changed the way we communicate and influence each other. And when it comes to fashion these days, it means that global trends can be led by fashionistas and bloggers just as easily as they can by famous designers, making them completely unpredictable and short-lasting, leaving the fashion industry practically no chance of reacting in time, as season collections these days are designed well over a year in advance. And the third and last trend is the need for immediate gratification. All of us have been getting used to the fact that everything online is just a click away. And we simply expect everything in our lives to follow suit. So if buying that special dress online takes no more than a few minutes, then it really feels like getting it shouldn't take that much longer, right? And when we combine these trends together, it seems as if we want new and different things all the time. We want them to be special and even personalized. And of course, we don't want to wait for any of them. The result of all this, from an economic point of view, is truly radical. As the classic retail model of supply and demand is becoming irrelevant for fashion. And instead, we see the emergence of a new and reverse model of demand and supply. Or to put it in simpler words, instead of selling what we already manufactured, we need to actually manufacture what we already sold. An impossible task and an imaginary concept for the conventional fashion industry. So, if we want to meet the demand of a completely new type of fashion consumers, we need a genuine production revolution. We need to use innovative technologies in order to make fashion manufacturing simple, flexible, and sustainable, to enable us to bring it closer to the market and into our cities, to enable a true on-demand and just-in-time fashion manufacturing system. Guided by this notion, the vision my colleagues and I have been working on for the past six years is to enable this exact revolution for printed textiles. Print and color are two of the most basic fundamentals of fashion. But printing and dyeing of fabrics involve complex and highly polluting processes. As a matter of fact, it is one of the most water polluting industries in the world which, according to the World Bank, is responsible for about 20% of water pollution globally. One of the main reasons why this industry was pushed away to the most remote corners of the Earth. Changing this exact reality is the challenge we took upon ourselves. With the goal of replacing old and polluting processes, we invented a unique and completely dry digital printing solution for textile, enabling people to digitally print any design on any type of fabric anywhere in the world. But seeing what our customers were able to do with this technology made us realize that we needed to take our vision even further. So, based on our printing solution, we integrated additional technologies to create an innovative solution for on-demand digital fashion manufacturing, transforming a 3D garment design into printed and cut pieces ready for sewing within a matter of minutes and without any environmental pollution or waste. Taking a process which currently spends many months and multiple continents and squeezing it into the space of a small apartment in less than 15 minutes, presenting a true alternative for how we believe fashion should and will be manufactured in the foreseeable future. Now, if you think this is a far-fetched dream or a long-term vision at best, then I urge you to think again. 
as I truly believe that after decades of doing pretty much the same thing over and over, the fashion industry is about to be reinvented in a very short time. We will go online in the morning to buy our new dress or shirt, being able to customize every part of it. And while we go about our daily business, our new garment will then be printed and made, especially for us. Not only in the same part of the world, but rather very close to where we live. So that by the same afternoon, we'll have it ready and delivered at our doorstep. Just in time for our dinner reservation. So, the next time you buy fashion online, keep in mind that you are an active player in the genuine revolution, which is just a click away. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.